How can I get a full-time job as a paramedic? Paramedics work out of ambulance stations in major cities and small towns across the province. Major cities include those such as the Vancouver and Lower Mainland, Victoria, Kelowna and Kamloops. Major cities have a higher call volume or number of emergency calls to paramedics. They also have more positions filled by full-time salaried paramedics. When new positions open up in major cities, they are usually filled by paramedics that are already hired rather than new paramedics. Generally, paramedics move to the major cities from smaller towns as they advance through their career. After I completed my PCP with the JIBC, I was hired in Prince Rupert as a part-time paramedic. I ended up working almost every day if I chose to. There was a lot of available shifts for me. I ended up working all over the province. I worked in Pemberton, Whistler, Terrace, and all over the Lower Mainland as a secondary employee picking up shifts in Vancouver. If you are a new paramedic, the chances are that you won't get a full-time job in a major city right away. You will likely start your career working part-time in a small town and accumulate hours and seniority that will lead you to a full-time position in a few years. The smallest towns where you might start include places like Chase, Enderby, Salmon Arm, Princeton, Carameas, Clearwater, and Boston Bar, and many other places that you may have never had the chance to visit. When you start out working part-time, you often travel to small towns to complete shifts in blocks over a few days and live at the station while working to cut down on your travel time. This is a great opportunity to learn and grow as a paramedic in an environment that can be slower paced than a major city and it also gives you a chance to explore some beautiful areas of our province. One way to start is working part-time hours. You submit your availability to a station in advance and get scheduled to work based on how many of the shifts in the month you are available. The advantage of this is you can control your own schedule, concentrate your work days and have more days off in a row. You can choose how much you work and sometimes find work at other stations closer to your home if you're not scheduled for shifts during your available hours. Paramedics in small towns can also work on call. This is sometimes referred to as pager pay. You're paid a lower hourly wage to wear a pager and be ready to spring into action when someone needs a paramedic. You do not need to be at the station, but must be able to respond to the call in a reasonable amount of time. If you are paid, you get paid your regular paramedic wage for the block of time it takes you to respond to the call. The advantage of working on call is you don't always have to be at the station. You can be doing things in the community like going to the gym, doing online courses, working in your garden, going to a movie, or even working another local job, provided your employer will permit you to leave right away if paged. There are many strategies to earn a solid living while working part-time as a paramedic and building seniority. Our JIBC instructors are always happy to help students identify career paths that fit their needs. Are there opportunities for advancement in the BC Emergency Health Services? BCHS has an education division devoted to providing the ongoing annual training requirements and introducing new knowledge and skills to the paramedics. There are other advanced paramedic specializations such as community paramedics and critical care paramedics that you might be interested in once you start working and also opportunities to get involved with special operation teams like bike squads, public safety units and work at major public events, sports games and concerts. There can be opportunities for paramedics to move into roles in education, administration, dispatch, logistics, and into management and leadership positions with the ambulance service. It is important to be a lifelong learner if you want to advance your career. This might mean you take additional courses or programs in other areas of interest and even pursue an advanced diploma or degree. Many paramedics continue their education while working part-time with the ambulance service. Thanks. Where can I find more information? I hope that I've been able to answer some of your questions about working as a paramedic in BC. The BCHS website has great information to help you make a decision about starting on your path to becoming a paramedic. I would also encourage you to talk to your instructors at GIBC. They have a great deal of experience and have been where you are right now.